Hello, friends, and welcome to Troidal Power Presents, the Power Playthroughs podcast with Troidal Power on Podcasters Assemble. This might go on both feeds. I don't know. Anyway, um, hi, I'm, this is the, Podcast Assemble is a podcast all about the James Bond movies right now, and Troidal Power Presents, the Power Playthroughs podcast. Troidal Power is a podcast where I play games in a powerful way. And uh, I did I did a, a stream of playing Goldeneye the other day, but I did it bad, and my audio wasn't recording for the first several minutes. And I thought that it was just the stream that was an issue, and the recording was going to be fine. But it turns out I was mistaken about that. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna dub the video. If you're listening to the podcast version, it's just gonna be me making weird sounds for a while. But I promise the game audio will come in. But if you're watching the video, look, there's the Nintendo logo. Ooh, the Nintendo logo in silver spinning around in 3D. I like when they do that on the Nintendo 64. And then there's the Rareware logo. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try and say what I said last time. I'm not going to because I don't remember what I said last time. But we see the dots going across the the Bond dots. And we hear that. And then Bond turns and shoots at the screen. And then blood comes down. And it's like. And then I hit the start button, and we're uh, deciding which save file to do. There's four save files you can choose from in James Bond. Um, I've got several save files going on here, but we choose a new one, um, and we go straight into select mission, because obviously we're playing single player here, not multiplayer. Um, and then we got to choose where we're going, and the dam is where we're going. So mission one, Arkhangelsk, and part one is the dam. And the difficulty option, I'm debating between, like, should I play secret agent or agent? There's more objectives you have to do on the higher difficulty levels, which gives you, like, more of a story per level. But I just choose the easy level agent. So our primary objective is just to bungee jump off the platform. That's all we have to do. Um, now, you can't just start the mission here, but you can also hit the next button. And it gives you a little more detail about the information. And so, of course, that's what I decide to do here. Uh, and it says, background, MI6 has confirmed the existence of a secret chemical warfare facility at the Belvignemonio Dam, USSR. It's a heavily, it's heavily guarded location and workings are a cause for major concern. Nerve gas produced there has been turning up in the hands of hostile regimes around the world and deals with international terrorists have been rumored. This facility should be destroyed with extreme prejudice. I read that kind of fast because I was worried that the me that did this before would have read it faster than me and then go to the next page before I was ready. But it didn't. Apparently, I was too fast because it's still on that page. Here we go. End briefing. The area around the dam is well defended against full-scale military attack, but a lone agent stands a much better chance. The easiest way to gain entrance to the weapons factory will be to get down the face of the dam. Q had an idea about that. I guess that actually, that shouldn't be Judy Dench, um, because this is nine years ago. Anyway, Q branch. Information concerning shipping and contacts is stored on a computer system in a secret ops room within the dam. With this covert mo modem connected to the satellite link, we can intercept the data when a backup is carried out. As for getting down the dam, use the bungee rope. At the bottom of the jump, use the pitten gun. Simple. Oh, cool. What a good briefing. We, we got an overall briefing, an uh, M briefing, a Q briefing. We gotta be done, right? Oh no. Message for Money Plenty. Hardly a lover's leap, James. Be careful, though. I hate to think of you falling for anyone else. And then we hit start goes to a black screen black screen still fades in and we see the dam and it says Bailmuir dam in wherever it is in ussr nine years ago and then fades to black again and then we get like this swooping camera angle coming in past a uh, guard tower and a truck driving in and going around a corner and there we see james bond in a tactical gear aiming his silenced uh pp7 around and now I'm starting to play, and I, I can tell already just watching this, this is where I was trying to figure out the controls. Because I haven't played James Bond Goldeneye on the Nintendo 64 in a long time. Just even holding that Nintendo 64 controller, you know, it's it's a weird controller. But anyway, I figure out I can use the C button to strafe, and I strafe around the corner, and just come out guns blazing and, and shoot a guard to death and pick up a KF-7 Soviet. But I'm not going to use that yet. I just refresh my PP7, and ping, ping, pew! I forgot I was supposed to do sound effects. Pew, pew, pew! I shoot another guard, and then I go across the bridge and... I pick up some ammo and then I switch guns to the K7 or whatever. And then I see another guard. I was going up some stairs and I saw a guard on the ground, but I accidentally switched to my regular gun and pew, pew, I got my gun out and shot him. And then I go up the stairs and is there a guard up here? There's probably a guard up here. Oh no, there's no guard up here. That's cool. And I pick up a sniper rifle and then I switch to the K7 and switch to the sniper rifle. And I'm trying to figure out how do I use a sniper rifle? Oh, I picked up the, the butt of the gun and then switched through all my guns again. And then a guard comes up the stairs, and I just start wildly shooting the K7 around. And he falls over dead. I've killed that guard. I broke some glass in there, too. That, that sound effect was very late if you're watching the video. And then I picked up some more ammo, and then I'm walking around. And I pick up my sniper rifle, and I aim down a tunnel. Because the guy's shooting at me. And then I shoot him in the nuts. And then 
I shoot him in the knee and he's dead. Uh, two shots, one in the nuts, one in the knee. And then I look with my star profile. Oh, there's, I thought there was another guard in this tunnel. I don't see another guard. So then I keep going down the tunnel a ways. And, oh, I got some ammo. And then I aim and I peek around the corner. There's nobody there. Uh, and then I look again further out in the corner and there's a, like a bunker up ahead, like a pillbox thing. And I'm pretty sure there's a guy in that. Somebody shooting at me and I aim down my scopes and I see him. There's a guy in the bunker shooting at me and then there's a guy up ahead and I took a shot, but he hopped to the left just as I took a shot. And then he ran behind a building and then he comes out from the building and does a barrel roll. And then I aim again. He's shooting at me and shoot him, shoot him again. And he's dead. And then more shots are coming at me. And I'm, I'm aiming down my sights. Shots are coming from that pillbox. And I'm looking at that pillbox and I think, man, I think there is a single pixel in here as bullets shoot at me. That is a guy. And I line up the shot at the pixel. And I take the shot. Did I get him? Did I kill that guy? No, we'll find out later. And then this is where uh, Evan and Tyler start texting me saying like, Troy, abort. Your audio is not working. What are you doing, you fool? Uh, and I'm like, I, I don't know. My audio is not working. Why isn't my audio working? That's super weird. Everything should be working fine. And so then I'm like poking some buttons and stuff. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. And I didn't pause the game here. You'd think I would have paused the game. Because if I paused the game, I could give myself an easy edit point. Two, two, more bolts are shooting at me. Um, but I thought that my audio was recording fine. I thought it was just the stream that was an issue. But I still could have paused. I don't know why I didn't pause. Because I'm just getting shot at while I'm standing here. Checking my text messages. Checking my settings. Trying to figure out what's going on. Um, any minute here, the audio should kick in. You would think. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. We'll find out together. I hope it will. Standing here in the middle of the roadway. Nobody's shooting at me anymore. I wonder where the guy who was shooting at me went. That's kind of strange. Oh, two, 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 two. there's some more shots. How's their oh, sound? There we go. And there's me. Did that All right, bye. It? Maybe that fixed it. Oh, gosh, I'm getting shot. Okay. Just pause and look at my watch here. Uh, yay! All right, I got a text saying they can hear me. All right, hurrah! <laughs> um, well, someday there will be uh, a podcast version of this probably, and you'll be able to hear the thing. Um, yeah, a little muffled, but he's there. Well, listen, I do the best I can. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore your text messages now, boys. Um. Anyway, yeah, hey, welcome back to the stream. Everybody listening to this on the podcast feed is like, what was the point of all that? I could hear you just fine. Well, my friends uh, Tyler and Evan were trying to uh, watch the stream and they couldn't hear me. Anyway, I was talking about how there was that pixel of a guy in that bunker. I think I got him. I think I shot him in the pixels. Um, you know, that'll just, that'll take you right out. So I'm climbing up a, a lookout tower now. Ooh, hello, body armor. I definitely did not actually remember that that was there. So, C up and C down, aim up and down. Is it, there we go, oh, oh! I was trying to figure out how to crouch, and I figured it out just as just as a, a leg appeared in my line of sights as I was figuring out how to crouch. That was alarming. Um, oh, there's still a guy in that bunker thing. The question is, was there two guys, and I got one of them? Nope, this was the guy all along. Turns out I didn't shoot him in the pixels. Um, but he's been shotted now. And we're gonna move on. And there's a truck waiting to go through a gate. And I'm gonna go up to that gate and push the B button. Yeah! Now the light turned green and the truck's gonna go. And if this was Nightfire, I would climb in the back of the truck and use that to sneak into the very fancy party. But this is not Nightfire, so instead I'll just go and push the button on the next gate. And the security gate behind me is closing. Well, the new one opens. I'm gonna go around to the other side of the truck. I feel like I remember that there's some advantage to being on this side of the truck. Probably could have snuck by this guy, but instead I'm just running towards another of those guard towers. Build a boy outside. Let's see if there's another Russian guy up here. Nope, no Russians up here. Um, all right, how do I get down from this tower? Ooh, it made me dizzy spinning in circles around that tower. Uh, oh, there's an alarm going off. They set off an alarm. Don't set off alarms. I like, there's just these vague blurs in the distance that end up being enemies and I shoot them, but I can't see anything. Here's the alarm. There we go, turn the alarm off, and now I'm gonna shoot the alarm. Yeah. Why did some stuff just blew up behind me? I didn't do, I didn't do, oh, somebody's shooting. Who's shooting? Whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna go jump off this dam. 
Check it out. Look. Oh, man. There's a there's a lock gate in front of the dam. What am I going to do? I'm going to aim my AK-47 at that lock, and I'm going to shoot it off. Yeah. Open that gate up, and then you run across the bridge. And then this is where the movie starts, with James Bond running across the bridge. Look at me go. Look at me run across this bridge. Now, if I was playing on harder difficulties, there would be stuff I had to do along the way here. Also, I would have been sneaky if I was James Bond from the movie, because he definitely did not get into this big of a gunfight on his way across this bridge. But here we go, James, you're almost there. You climb up on this thing and then you just run off. And it's showing me falling. I, did I do something wrong? Okay, I was worried that that was just gonna be me dying. I thought, I thought I'd screwed up somehow, but I didn't. Here's the cutscene now it shows. After it, it showed me first person me showing off or jumping off, it shows uh, an external view of James Bond doing a swine, swan dive off of the, uh, oh, we get to see it twice, nice, of him swan diving off of the, uh, the dam. Yeah, hey, uh, report, mission status completed, bungee jump up from platform completed, time 626, accuracy 31% with a KF-7 Soviet. I shot 129 bullets and killed 14 people. Um, my next mission is part two, facility, primary objectives, game entry to laboratory area. Rendezvous with 006. Destroy all tanks in bottling room and minimize scientist casualties. Inside the chemical weapons facility, you should quickly and efficiently proceed to the bottling area and place demolition charges on the main gas tanks. Political considerations demand that collateral damage is minimized on this mission. I'm gonna blow up the whole facility, but okay, sure. Uh, Non-military personnel should be disregarded. M says, you'll be working with 006 on this assignment. The bottling room is the rendezvous point. Don't forget to contact our double agent scientist before you leave and warn him to get out. He will provide you with a decoder for the final security door. There are no women or casinos for a thousand miles, 007, so even you will be able to concentrate on this mission. Unnecessary dig from Judy Dench. Q says, now listen carefully, Bond. These bombs will be armed as soon as the last one is set. Don't be too close when you set them off or you'll go up in flames as well. And while you're at it, please try and bring back that door opener undamaged for once. Too much rough handling like the last mission and it might go wrong at a bad time. Honestly, 007, sometimes I think you damage your equipment on purpose. And the money pegging says, these chemicals could prove to be a match even for your pheromones, James. Don't take too many risks. All right, starting the mission. Um, I have not watched the new No Time to Die trailer. I was going to watch it today with my friend Evan and we were gonna do a live reaction thing, but then I didn't end up getting a chance. And so I'm playing this instead. Uh, crouchy, 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 sneak through. Wait, isn't there body armor over if I sneak through the pipe or the, the ventilation shaft in this direction? Is that a thing? That is not a thing. I thought that was a thing. All right. Just got my silence PP7 here. And we're going to look down. And in the next stall, there's a, there's a Russian soldier. And he's got his silence PP7 out. And we're just going to pop him in the head. Shot his hat off of him. Now pop him in the head, and he's dead. All right, now we're dropping down into a toilet stall. And we're gonna open the door, and on higher difficulties, oh, nope, I was gonna say on higher difficulties, there's another guy there, but he was there anyway. Um, so that's two Russian soldiers that I've killed in the toilets. Is there more? Yes. I like that they're just like standing in the bathroom, holding their, their rifles, not like, they're not using the toilets. They're just hanging out in the bathroom, like on guard, I guess. Um, okay, here we go. Gonna be very sneaky on this one. Very sneaky. Whoa, hey! Hey! Teenage Mutant Ninja Troidles! Teenage Mutant Ninja Troidles! Heroes in a half shell, troidal power. That caught me by surprise, Jay. Thank you for that sub. That totally caught me by surprise. I didn't know that I had my alerts on. Um, last time I tried to use them, they weren't working. And that just scared the poop out of me a little bit. Um, not quite. I mean, I, di I didn't actually poop or anything, but it did startle me. Um, anyway, thanks for, thanks for that. Uh, those of you listening to this on a podcast form, if this becomes a podcast form, I bet that startled you too. Did you just suddenly hear the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme playing? Oh, I forgot I'm supposed to be narrating what I'm doing. Um, I'm just sneaking through the back hallways. Ow, I'm getting shot at now. I was doing a pretty good job of taking out soldiers before they started shooting at me, but now... Now, not so much. Here's some body armor. Here's the room that I meet 006 in if this was the movie, um, but it's not. I love how like, oh, there's a second guy in this room. 
I love how perfectly this little hallway is rendered. I'm just gonna go out so we can look at it, those watching the video version, uh, which will be on YouTube. Hey, go look me up, Turtle Power on YouTube if you're listening to the uh, podcast version. Anyway, this staircase and that room are like exact, exactly like in the movie. Oh, and there's a guard over there. That guard is not exactly like in the movie. He caught me by surprise. Um, but I just, I think that's kind of cool. Anyway, um, let's open up this door. And this also is exactly like it is in the movie. That little room right there. They like run up to the window of it. Those two guards saw me though, so I have to come back and kill them. Oh, there's three guards. Oh, there's so many guards in this hallway. Oh, things are exploding. Oh, I'm getting shot. Where am I getting shot from? Maybe it was just the explosion hurting me and not me getting shot. Um, let's see. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, that was a gifted sub from Evan to Jay. Thanks. This is remotely controlled. Oh, so I have to go back into that security booth thing and push the button in there. Da, 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 da. I can barely hear the music on this. I know you guys can hear it better because I have it louder for you than I do for myself. Um, but just a little bit of the sound effects and stuff I can hear. Just that door sound effect even. Like everything about this game, man. It's just nostalgia in a bottle, man. Put it straight into my veins. Oh, there's a lot of guards in this hallway. Why am I not using an AK-47, you might ask? And the answer is, I don't know because it's not in this game, but I can use a KF-7 Soviet, I believe it's called. Can use that. Somewhere there's a scientist who is my friend. He's a double agent. Is it you? Time to leave, Dr. Doke. Oh, watch out, Dr. Doke. If we need this decoder to get into the ball room. Good luck, 007. Thanks, Dr. Doke. Open the door. Oh, that guy just startled me. I went through the door and there was a guard. Okay, going into the other room on the other side of the hallway, there's some big red and yellow tankers in here. Went up the stairs, just a scientist. Scared him a little bit. No soldiers in here. Oh, there's a soldier. I knew there was gonna be one of you in here somewhere. All right. Uh, oh, no, let's let's get my gun back up. How do I get my gun back up? Uh, reload, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. Door opened up and there was a, a, a soldier standing behind a scientist. Using scientists as human shields, you're monsters. Can I open this door? Nope. I think I have to go back into the... Oh, there's another security control. Oh my gosh. Three guards in the hallway. Four guards in the hallway. Aiming in this game is just not a thing that you do. Another game that I want to play on stream at some point here is uh, Time Splitters and Time Splitters 2. And I wonder how much better those games will feel than this just because they have... A, a stick, you know, just that little bit. Oh, oh, getting shot from behind while I try and figure out how to get my gun out again. Ow. Don't worry, though, I got some body armor. Okay, this button should open that door. Security door activated. Is there one over here, too? Let's do them both. Okay, security doors are open. Stop shooting me while I'm trying to open doors. Kill that guy. I'm trying to open the door to get out of the room I'm in. There we go. And we're gonna go on the left branch. And objective A completed. What was objective A? Uh, objective A was gain entry to the laboratory area, okay. Um, no, 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 no. Cancel. I'm trying to find the control options. Control style. So Z is fire. You can use... So this uses the D-pad to move? Interesting. The stick is look around. Oh. 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 So I can use the C buttons to move and I can aim with the stick. That might be better. But I'm used to aiming with my right hand, so I have to hold the controller backwards and hold the stick in my right hand and, and use the D-pad to move instead of the C buttons. Okay, okay. This is weird. I, oh, okay. Looked way up high at the ceiling. Okay, nope, I hate this. Oh, I hate it so much. Uh, let's go ahead and just switch that back to uh, honey. Are those my only two options? No, kissy, goodnight. 
I'll name it after uh, Bond Girls. It's fun. Uh, honey, there we go. Okay. Oh, getting shot at as I unpause the game. Oh my! Just I just threw one of the the bombs. I needed those bombs. They're not to be wasted. Can I even complete the mission still? I don't know. Um, what? Do I just need to keep pressing forward? I don't have any side objectives I have to do. I'm playing on easy mode. What am I talking about? Just shoot the guards and keep running. Come on. All right, through the laboratory area. What's next? Here's a door. I got a key card reader and I'm gonna go press the button on it. Press, press the button. Oh, there we go. Here's the door opening. Here's the bottling room. This is where we're gonna find Alec. Our good friend Alec, 006. Hi, Alec 006. The first time I played this game, I definitely shot him. Glad you could make it, 007. That's what Sean Bean says. And then we're gonna go and uh, he says, for England, James. And uh, I say, for England, Alec. And I'm gonna put these explosives on the things. I say, Bond says it was too easy, Alec. And he says, half of everything is luck. And then I say, and the other half? And then he says, an alarm goes off. And he says, fate. Oh, no. I'm going to get up these other stairs. I forget if I have to wait a while before I go. He's shooting at the guards that are running in. Oh, that's right. I have to get out through the conveyor belt. I remember this because I just watched the movie the other day. Uh, throw down your weapons. You're surrounded. No, I'm not going to do that. Just waiting until he says finish the job james and he's he's being held uh with a gun to his head by oral move and he says you have 10 seconds i'm gonna go trigger button and blow up all the things look at him explode big explosion on the tanks and then i'm gonna run out through this little uh conveyor belt thing hey cutscene showing james uh looking down the conveyor belt thing and then hey we did the mission uh all right 8 14 our next fine plane and mixing plane ignition key and escape plane i'm gonna read all I, we're not gonna read stuff we're just gonna go we're just gonna go we're just gonna go audio works now thank you thank you for letting me know i thought i'd fix it we're a little late on that message god it would be awful if i was just playing for this long without it working but i appreciate it nonetheless um it's gonna be fine on the recording anyway could be probably maybe um okay i have to find the plane ignition key i do not remember where a plane ignition key is that's that's a, that's an interesting wrinkle okay it's trying to be sneaky and i'm already getting shot and i don't know where from i killed one dude after i walked out of the big garage door into the snow there's an ammo box with some grenades in it that's exciting let's go into this little building is there a plane anybody got a plane ignition key in here do you guys have a plane ignition i'm looking for a plane ignition key Ooh, i see it there's a big key on the table Picked up an ignition key. All right, let's go get in a plane. <laughs> I love the, the bad guys. Sometimes they just hop. It's the weirdest animation. Um, now in the movie, the plane is taking off as James Bond runs down the runway and he has to run it down and catch up to it. And then after he catches up to it, he ends up getting out of the plane again. And then he ends up getting a motorcycle and riding the motorcycle off the end of the runway in order to catch the plane as it falls down a cliff face and climb inside of it and then get it flying again. Don't think that that's going to happen in the game. I think I'm just going to get up to the plane as I shoot people as I run by them. Um, here's the plane. Press B on the door and it fades to black. And then cutscene showing the plane taking off as machine guns fire at me. Hey, that mission was fast. Uh, that mission took me a minute and 14 seconds. I got a cheat available for it. I am not to cheat by, by doing it so fast. Now we go to Severnia for part one, surface. Power down communications dish and enter the base via ventilation tower. Now this is an interesting level because this doesn't happen in the movie James Bond 007, Ian Fleming's James Bond 007 in Goldfinger. Um, Bond never goes to Severnia. Uh, they just look at it from a satellite. Oh, I love his like white parka though. It's a good look, James. Um, cool. Uh, hear more about me talking about Sylvania by listening to Podcasters Assemble. Uh, you can go find out on your podcast app right now. Podcasters Assemble, a podcast for me and a bunch of other really cool people are watching the James Bond movies and talking about them. Uh, you can submit if you want to be part of it. You can talk about Goldeneye and we'll, you can be part of our podcast. Anyway, um... Thought I heard my phone ringing. I think it's just Evan and Tyler sending messages, though. Ignore this, okay. Oh man, Troy says he's gonna ignore us now. Well, I did a good job of ignoring you for like 15 minutes. 
Now I check my phone. Oh no, I turned around in a circle in the snow in Sylvania and I got lost. I don't know where I'm going anymore. So Bond's just wandering through a snowy landscape. Oh, I see a soldier up ahead. Gonna shoot him, he's dead. Uh, that was uh, a poem that I wrote. Oh, here's two more guys. They're next to uh, explosive barrels though. Try not to shoot the explosive barrels, Bond. That'll make too much noise. Oh, I got a sniper rifle? Oh yeah. Um, ooh, there's some ammo in this uh, little bumper, bunker? Not a bumper, a bunker. And there's another little house over on the other side, so we're gonna hop over there. Maybe we'll get a chance to snipe something again. The door is locked. Well, that's rude of it. We just not go in this building? Weird. All right, uh, let's get our sniper rifle out, see if we can see anybody. There's like a uh, observatory building up ahead. Uh, looks like it should have a, uh, a telescope on top of it, but it doesn't. Um, but I'm gonna check inside, underneath. Instead of a telescope, there's some explosive barrels. Okay, we're just gonna skip past that. Oh, there's the satellite dish, I see it up ahead. That's probably what we're looking for. Uh... Oh, I see a guy. You see that guy? He's at the base of the satellite dish walking around, aiming my sniper rifle at him. Oh, he's very far away. I might not be able to do this because there's some wobble as you aim your sniper rifle. Oh, missed him. Missed him again. Got him. Got him again. He's still not dead. Oh no, he's running. He's running. Oh, he's probably gonna go set off an alarm or something. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, beans. Oh no. Oh no. Let's get my, um... okay. Well, he ran around the other side of the building as I was approaching and I, just, I no scoped him with a sniper rifle. I'll take it. That's a, that's a fair way to go. Um, I see Evan. I, Evan says he's leaving in the chat on the Twitch stream. Bye, Evan. Thanks for being here. And hello to uh, Mystic Cheese. Uh, I think it's Mystic Cheese. Um, hi, welcome. I'm playing Bo Goldeneye. I almost said Boldeneye because I was trying to say Bond and also Goldeneye at the same time. Okay, I'm climbing up uh, some stairs onto the top of this satellite dish thing. And it said I have to cut the power. I've been playing a lot of um, Metroid uh, Prime, and I want to use like my my scanning uh, ability to find out how to cut the power. Like, is it something with the base of the satellite dish? Do I do I blow up the satellite dish? I don't have any anything to blow up the satellite dish with. Oh, here's a computer console. That's probably gonna be it. Yeah, communication just powered down. All right. Now I just have to go find that door. There's, I remember there's, there's just a door in the snow somewhere. So we're going down the stairs inside this satellite tower. And uh, here. I don't know which direction to go. I'm just gonna pick a random direction and go that way and see how that goes. There's a structure here. This looks like a like a water reservoir thing, I think. There's a ladder going up into it. Climb up the ladder. And look down here. Ah, ventilation shaft. That's right, I'm supposed to get through ventilation shaft. Uh, well, that's what this is. And it's got four locks on it, so we'll just shoot all these locks. Pow, pow. Takes two shots with the PP7. And the last one. Ow, pow. Oh, I have to reload. Pow. There we go. And the gate falls down, and I fall down into it, and the screen fades to black. And then it comes back and shows Bond on top of the building, aiming his gun around, and then he jumps down into it. And I completed another mission. Um, okay. Bunker. Copy gold Nike and leave original photograph main video screen are our objectives. Going straight into this inside the base. I don't think we have to escort Natasha in this one, but maybe we do. Copy gold Nike, photograph the main screen. All right, we're in a stealth suit now. We've lost our winter garb and we're all stealthed out. Just popping into this room and immediately dispatching two Russian guards just right away. There's another one outside the doors. So we're gonna pop those doors open, shoot him in the spine, shoot his buddy in the shoulder and then the chest. Oh, there's one behind me, isn't there? Yes. One behind me got some shots off. Now everybody knows. Welcome to the party. People just come and running down the hallway to shoot James Bond. I see how it is. Let me just shoot this alarm button here. Poof. 
Now nobody can uh, set an alarm off at me. All right, going down some stairs. Oh, we're in like a, uh, we went from like a nice um, built bunker thing to just some like raw rock walls. So that's the wrong way. And also it's a dead end. So we're gonna go the other way. Oh, I picked up a security guard from one of, or a security card from one of these security guards. Okay, um, there's double doors there. What's this room? There's a big red glowy thing in this room. Hi, big red glowy thing. Oh, it's a ventilation shaft. It's just the, it's just the other side of the room I started in. Okay, well, okay. Um, continuing down the hallway. Oh, there's cameras. Do I have to blow up the cameras or is that not on this difficulty level? I blew up the cameras anyway, just in case. As if anybody is gonna be surprised when James Bond strolls in after they hear all these AK-47s going off. I found some body armor. And I found two guards hanging out in a dead end cave. These guys were totally smoking the pot. They were hanging out back here. Why else would they be in this dead end behind a wall? Those two guards were getting stoned. Is that legal in Sylvania? I don't know. You tell me. Um, nope, I didn't. I want to keep my 57 out. I just want to reload it. Okay, there we go. Got it back. Oh, more guards to do these double doors. Just running circles around them. They can't touch me, mostly because I'm playing on easy mode. Um, this room is also a dead end. There's a lot of guards guarding dead ends in this game. All right, going down some stairs. And, ooh, oh, here's the main room. This is definitely the main room. This is definitely where I need to take a picture of the screen, so don't blow up the screen, please, Russian guards, as I murder you. Do not blow up the screen. I see you. I see you thinking about maybe I'll sabotage this whole operation by blowing up the screen. Don't do that, or I will shoot you. Again, because you have already been shot. Hello, Boris. Thank you for the golden night key. And then Bond says, take me to the mainframe terminal. I don't have to go to the mainframe terminal. I'm not, I'm not playing this on an advanced difficulty level. Now, I don't remember how to get to my gadgets. Let's check my uh, controls. They don't tell me how to get to my gadgets. Um, oh, I have to copy golden night key and leave original, so I probably do have to follow Boris. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, key analyzer, camera. So from my menu, I can uh, equip my gadgets. Like the camera. And take a picture of the main screen and then get a gun back out, I hope, because this guy is shooting me. Ooh, that was interesting. It did a, a regular PP7 rather than a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit PP7. Where did Boris run off to? There he is. He ran down to the, the, the smoking pot cave. All right, Boris, I'm here. Take me to the mainframe terminal. You know, Star Fox 64 managed to have uh, voice clips in it. You'd think this game could. Just for those, like, small things that happen in the level, like take me to the mainframe computer. Apparently that's in this other dead end room. All right, Boris. Disable the security, Bond says. Disable the security. Disable the security. Disable the security. Oh, his name is just Programmer right now. I don't know it's Boris. Oops. Hmm, the root password has been changed. I don't believe you. I'm going to shoot you in the foot. He types in knockers. Because he is a mature boy. Oops, he says. I set off an alarm. I just shoot him in the foot. Oh, I want to shoot him in the foot so bad. I aimed a gun at him and he gets his hands up in the air because he's scared. Worse. Ooh, now it's like spec ops, spec ops Russian soldiers in like black uniforms and berets. Get back here, Boris. Where are you running off to? Oh. Oh, I just shot Boris in the back. But don't worry, he didn't die. This guy's double wielding DD4 destroyers. That's dope. Or DD4 just dis dissolves? I don't know how to say what to do. Hey, Boris, where are you running to? Do another alarm thing. Do another alarm thing. I can't blow up the alarm thing. Okay. Chase Boris outside. Did I just fail the mission? I failed the mission. Well, that sucks. That's really frustrating that that failed the mission. Um, okay. What was I supposed to do? He ran away, man. I tried to catch him, but he ran away. 
start this whole thing over again. All right, we're gonna turn around and go through the door behind me this time because I think there's gonna be less guards that way. Oh, nope, they spotted me just as quickly. That's fine. Okay, let's kill all the guys in the main server room because we know we're gonna have to bring Boris back here. And then I'm also gonna kill all the guys in Pock Corner because Boris is probably gonna run away to Pock Corner. So many people are shooting at me. Pick up a key to a computer room, I think it said? Cool. Body armor, we're in Stoner Corner now. I like that the main strategy you can use with these guys is to just hold down the C button to the side so that you are constantly like running in a weird circle. And uh, mostly they don't shoot you when you do that. Now, maybe that's just because I'm playing on a low difficulty. Maybe on a higher difficulty that wouldn't be the case. I don't know. Oh man, the spec out guys are already out this time. They're like here to waiting for me. Oh, I'm going towards the door Boris ran out of earlier. I'm gonna kill the two guys up here before I even go forward. I'm gonna blow up that alarm. There we go, blow up the alarm panel. Okay, more guards back in the main room. So many guards. Don't, nobody better blow up that main computer display. I'm still getting shot at. Okay, let's go back out of my menu and... Oh, there's a guard up there in the break room that Natalia, Natasha, Natalia hides out in when Oromov comes in the movie. He hides up there, doesn't get killed. But Xenia on the top. Yeah. I remember the movie I watched this week, that's right. Okay, let's get out my camera. Do I have... I have a key analyzer in my gadgets. Maybe I just have to use that on when I have the golden eye thing? Maybe I don't have to go to the computer mainframe at all. Okay, objective B complete. I took a picture. Now, stop shooting at me. More guys came in through that doorway? Apparently they, they keep coming in from the door to outside. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Picked up the golden eye key. Let's go into my gadgets and go to key analyzer and now i have my key analyzer out analyzing the golden eye key okay oh there's more guys coming in to shoot me am i still analyzing it objective a completed all right i pitched the old key back out now i can escape the facility i think gosh these spec up guys they can do cool barrel rolls good for them that's pretty neat all right out the door out the door out the door bam mission completed good job james bond you stole the gold nike a thing that definitely happened and james bond or pierce brosnan is james bond's no, pierce brosnan is ian fleming's james bond 007 in golden eye um hey thanks for listening uh or for watching if you're on twitch or for watching if you pull this up on youtube later on uh just find me turtle power on youtube if you're listening to the podcast version of this and uh, like I said, Podcasters Assemble, um, we're, we're doing GoldenEye uh, this week, this coming week. I don't know when I'm going to put this up. So, hey, it might be too late to submit for GoldenEye, but you can submit for the other Pierce Brosnan films or the Daniel Craig films. Uh, just head to probablywork.com to find out more. Um, thank you for listening. And as I always say on my podcast, Troidal Power presents the Power Playthroughs podcast with Troidal Power, which is where I think this is going to be. Tap A and hope for the best. <laughs>